Bukokte. I'm a member of cooking team. Uh, she's uh -huh. a She's also a student here. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, does it have a soup? Yeah, uh, a soup with potatoes and carrots and uh, yes, yeah, and and and, uh, and minced uh, meat. Meat. Minced uh, meat. meat. Uh, ah, minced meat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> How were the how were the uh, potatoes sliced? Are they sliced in cubes or in strips? I uh, it is uh, uh, sliced into half or circle. Oh, oh, in yeah. half. Yeah. Okay, so they are big. Yeah, big, but uh, it, it it is not thick like this this thick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so about one put. Uh, how many slices in one potato? Um, you say cut in half. Well, if you say cut in half, that means only two. So I mean, one potato, uh, you just cut in half. Yeah. yeah so I mean, only I mean, two. It is half the circle. Like we have, uh, we slide uh -huh. into a lot yeah. of uh, slices like this, and we cut uh -huh. it uh, half. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so not only you, half. Yes. Yeah, like <laughs> chips. Like chips, but yeah, but thicker, thicker than chips. Yeah. Mm okay. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to know about that. <laughs> you know. Yeah, because I didn't hear. Uh, I mean, I didn't try minced meat and then with some potatoes uh, or uh, we have but not minced meat okay just uh, big slices of pork mm -hmm. and then potatoes uh, cabbages yeah and carrots mm -hmm. uh, onion garlic uh -huh. yeah all those things yeah so i wondered if we had the same so i asked how the car uh, how the potatoes were sliced mm -hmm. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. anyway you will study today for 50 mi for 50 minutes yes right That's okay right. yeah where, where's mike ah uh, he is going on a trip with his girlfriend <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so he's yes. not there now yes okay i thought you were not allowed to go out um Yes, but because it is like a special occasion, we can. Mm, okay, yeah. So that's why he was allowed. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we are going to go back to part three of test seven. Okay. Right? Yes. yes. Part three, question three of test seven. We are going to fix it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you still remember your answer? Yeah, the question or the answer? No, the, the answer. Uh, okay, I will give you a preview of your answer, okay? Okay. So the question was, what is more important, academic or practical skills, in your opinion? Okay, so in your answer, you said, yeah, in your point of view, uh, uh, you chose practical skills, okay? And then you gave details like, you want to do things with your hands and your legs, right? Yes. Okay. Uh huh. And you also said like nowadays people just prefer some easy or they prefer to make things easy, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And it also contributes to it also one kind of job. Uh, your answer was quite complicated in this case. That's why the sentences are not complete. So you said it contributes and then you started another sentence. It also one kind of job. Okay, so those are the, just some information that I got from your previous answer. So did you make a better answer for now? Yes, I'll try. Okay, yeah. So let's try to do that one. So what do you think is more 
are you still going to choose the same practical skills? Yes, I do. Okay, yes. Uh, so let's see, what do you think is more important? Academic or practical skills? So in my point of view, practical skills are much more important than academic skills. This is because practical skills are more relevant and necessary for our day-to-day -day lives. I'm like you, let me give you an example of myself. I'm about, uh, about uh, like say cooking. Cooking is one of practical skills, right? And it is really important to me. Um, and luckily I, I know how to cook, but if I didn't, um, I would have to go um, to eat out frequently and it would be not healthy for me and, and it would cost me a lot of money as well. So uh, I think cooking does affect my life thoroughly. Um, but uh, with academic skills, uh, with myself, say, um, I like a writing skill for um, writing for uh, IELTS exam. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning it, but I don't, um, I don't spend much time on it because I don't think it's too important to me because I um, because I think if I uh, don't know how to write an essay, I still can like, uh, live happily and uh, it, it's just one tiny part of my life, you know. So I think prat practical skills are, are more important than uh, academic skills. Okay, yeah, that's better. I think that's better. Okay. Yeah, in your previous answer yesterday, you used uh, a detail like I want to use or I want using my hands and legs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to go back to that. How do you call <coughs> or <coughs> what verb can we use instead of so using my hands, uh, using my hands and legs? <coughs> especially using my hands? Um, work manually. I'm okay, correct. manually, correct. So when you want to use your hands, then you work manually, or you do things manually, not by machines. Yes. Okay, so I like doing things manually. Okay, yeah. Anyway, let's go back to your new answer now. Mm -hmm. I thought you were... I thought you still wanted to use the word manually because that will be a good vocabulary for you. Okay, but in here you avoided it, but still the answer is very good. Okay, so more relevant. More relevant on or more relevant to? To. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Say to or on? Um, I said... Um, I think I said uh, more relevant and necessary for. Uh, more relevant and necessary for our day-to-day uh, -day lives. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Relevant for, okay, our day-to-day -day lives. Mm -hmm. Then you gave the example, cooking, very good. Uh, pronunciation. Uh, so if you don't know how to cook, mm -hmm. then you need to... Uh, I would have to eat out frequently. Okay, eat out. Eat out. Eat out frequently. Eat out frequently. Okay, wait. <laughs> uh, you need to stop for uh, out and then start with F because, you know, you cannot blend T and F. So we, uh, I would have to eat out frequently. I would have to eat out frequently. Okay, that's correct. But your <laughs> lips are kind of busy. Yeah, yeah, it has to be busy because uh, those you cannot blend them because they do not have the same sound. Okay, we only blend, uh, uh, I mean, similar sounds or the same sounds. Okay, there's a butterfly. Oh, no, no, there's a moth flying yes. around. Yeah, uh, there's okay. a lot. <laughs> oh, like around, yeah, yeah, bugs and stuff. A lot of them. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> it looks really, it 
it really uh, looks so. Actually, it isn't that nice because uh, they bother us a lot when we are studying. They bother you? Yes. How do they bother you? Well, they just fly and, and, and just like uh, the fly you saw uh, mm -hmm. from the day before, they just uh, land, landed our. Landed. Yeah, our bodies and uh, uh -huh. <laughs> we feel okay. itchy. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Anyway, now we are ready to go to another test, right? Yes. Are you? Okay. Yes, you are. We are going to finish this test. I think in fifty minutes. I hope so. Okay. Would you like to take this as a simulation? Yes, um, I do. Yes. So welcome to your speaking exam. Now I would like to talk about yourself. How can you describe yourself? Um, I'll call me a spiritual person. I love thinking about life and I spend a lot of time doing it. Um, and I'm not a realistic person. I'm kind of dreamy and also always think about my dreams in the future and not at the present. Mm -hmm. That's nice. What are your long-term career goals and why? Actually, recently I've been thinking about being become a uh, interpreter uh, in the future because I am studying English and I think I um, have ability to learn languages. So after studying English, um, I will continue to study other languages like Spanish and uh, Japanese or Chinese. And um, and I think become an interpreter will make uh, will will make my dreams uh, of traveling around the world come true. Hmm. Okay, I see. How can children be engaged more in outdoor activities? Um. I think uh, if we want. Uh, children to be more interested in outdoor activities, um, grown-ups uh, or like parents or teachers need to um, facilitate them with uh, some facilities, infrastructure, um, like uh, campsites or um, some uh, sports for outdoor activities and also um, they should um, teach them more about the benefits of outdoor activities so to make them oh, make them more aware of um, how they can benefit from uh, doing outdoor activities. Mm, okay. Thank you very much. Now I would like to talk about shopping and entertainment centers. Do you think shopping and entertainment centers are beneficial for people? Of course, uh, they are uh, beneficial to, to um, our society because um, it uh, pro provides our uh, services, uh, especially um, we can uh, buy a lot of stuff in shopping centers and and like and even our uh, large shopping centers will be more beneficial because we don't 
we just need to go to one place and buy a lot of stuff. We don't need to um, go to the ret retailers and buy just one place, one kind of stuff. It'll be um, uh, consume lots of time. So um, in general, all shopping centers or malls, um, they all beneficial and useful to us. For my last question in this part, is it the same for the economy? Mm, yes, uh, it is. It is beneficial for the um, the economies as well, but in I think in in a different way. If with um, people um, they bring services, with economies they bring profits. I'm um, in um out for example in one particular. Um, area, mm, the shopping centers or malls will mm, attract uh, a lot of uh, customers and um, so they are shop more so the, um, the government will receive more taxes and, and, and it also helps the um, economies more active, I think. Okay, now I would like to move on to another part of your exam and you will see a card and all you have to do is to answer these questions in the card in as much detail as you can. You will have about one minute to prepare for this and you may use a card, a paper and a pencil to write your opinion and then you will have about two, one or two minutes to talk about the topic. So here is your uh, question for this part. You may begin talking about the questions now. Um, so I'm so now I'm gonna tell you about uh, my Christmas uh, last year it, uh, that I really enjoyed it, and actually it is the first time I had a real Christmas because I'm not a, a relig religious person, so I I have never had a. A real Christmas before, but uh, because I am now studying at a residential school, and um, so at uh, last Christmas we did celebrate Christmas together. As uh, in our school, of course, in uh, Dak Nong Province, and um, I celebrated it with my friends and my classmates, and also our t and my teachers too, and uh, we cooked some. Uh, traditional dishes of Vietnam of Vietnamese. Uh, of course, we are not uh, Westerners, so we didn't uh, cook some uh, traditional Christmas dishes like turkey, um, like in Western. But we do some uh, 
alternative uh, dishes, and uh, they they are they they were good. Um, and we also um bought each other's presents and we exchanged presents, and that was the funniest part of this. And we and after um after eating and uh, exchanging presents, we. Uh, danced together around a fire, and that was um, that was amazing because that was the first time I can uh, really put all my worries aside and chill out and uh, with all the close friends beside me, and I just feel like this is the most. Um, wonderful Christmas I have ever had, and I, um, I wish I could have a lot of more Christmas like this in the future. Okay, thank you very much. Now we have been talking about an interesting activity that you did recently. So I would like to talk more about this. So I would like to ask, do you prefer to do things alone or with others? Um, I do love the both of them. Um, I like being alone sometimes when, because I think it is important for, for us to Think, uh, to spend time alone and think about our lives, what we can do to improve it. And sometimes I just want to be on my own so that I can read books and do some um, of my own hobbies. But um, friends and families and people around me also are really important part of my life. And I love spending time with them too. I love uh, going out with my friend to grab something for dinner sometime. And, I love cooking with my family. So uh, I love doing the both. Mm, okay. So what is the advantage of working alone? Um, I think there are two main advantages of working alone. First, if, um, firstly, we can do things on our own and we don't have to uh, listen to others' opinions. So we um, we don't have to uh, sometimes argue with others to choose a, a, an option to go for. We just uh, like follow our will and that will be the best. And the second advantage I think work alone will, brings, will bring is um, we can do things at our own speed. We can control um, when will this project um, uh, finish and we don't have to rush ourselves or be rushed by others. Um, so these are the two main advantages I think working along will bring. Okay, thank you. What can we say about the character of a person based on how they work? Um, I think um, the way uh, someone works um, says a lot about them. Um, firstly, uh, let's say um, I, I, I am studying at a residential school and I am leaving, leaving and working with others and uh, I, I I am an I am in a cooking team and I, I really I evaluate uh, a person's personalities by the way they work. Like I really like a, a girl who is in my team and she's really a uh, in an industrious person. Uh, she always gets up early and with me she prepares for the for the uh, for the breakfast and i 
And I think um, because of that, I think she's kind and she is, um, uh, she is take caring of others. But um, there's another one. I think um, she's like always um, want to put um, her work for other. Um, so I don't like her. So and because because I think that is not um, honest. So um, I assess um, others' personalities based on their work a lot. Okay, thank you very much. For my last, for my last question in this part, in your own view, could you describe the best type of worker? Um, so the best type of worker must be um, honest, di di diligent, and creative, I think. So first about honest, um, that is maybe, I, I think I consider it uh, the most imp important trait of uh, personality uh, of an employee because um, if, if an employee is not honest, um, he, he will um, tell lie about the hours he is working for the company, he will, um, lie about the um, profit that maybe his project brings so that he can uh, um, take advantage of it. So honesty is the first. Uh, so, and the second one is being, being diligent. I think hard working is um, an important uh, value. Um, because if someone is not um, diligent, they'll try to avoid their duty, and uh, they'll not. They frequently they'll not uh, finish their work, uh, their assignment, and that would bring um, that would not then would not be beneficial for the companies. And uh, the finally, um, bring creative because. Uh, Especially nowadays, um, in our modern world, I think creativity is extremely important to for the for the companies to uh, compete with uh, uh, others companies. So, if their employees are employees are creative, they will have more new products and uh, more and more profits will be brought in by that. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Question four is very good. Okay. No problem with that, except for just a few part. Uh huh. I think that's the that's the question where you put the best answer. Yeah, part three, question four. Let's go back a little. Okay, let's go to part one. Okay, so would you like to see the question? Yeah. Okay. Love to. So we have it here. So the first one is, how can you describe yourself? Uh, but of course, you know, there are other questions like, what's your name and where do you live? Okay, but I don't ask those questions anymore. I hope your answers for those questions are already perfect. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. One time before our, uh, but before we end our classes, yeah, uh, when? Uh, I don't know, next week or next, next week. Yeah. I would like to ask everything, like, what's your name? Where do you live? Can I see your passport? Yeah, those questions. Mm -hmm. That would be fine. So, 
this one, the first question is already the beginning of the real questions in the test. Okay. So how can you describe yourself? And you said, okay, you started your sentence with I'll call me. I'll call me. Yes, that's what I spiritual said. Spiritual person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you said. I'll call me spiritual person. Why I'll call me? So I would call myself. Okay. Yes. I would call myself a spiritual person. Okay. So we cannot use will here or? Oh, it's okay. I will call myself, but not I will call me. Okay. I see. Yeah. I will call myself. And then you also missed. You also missed the article, uh, mm -hmm. article a, uh, okay, uh, there. So, was that your sentence? I will call myself a spiritual person. Okay, very nice. And then, yeah, you gave details. That's correct. The next detail that you said, it's correct. So I did not write it. I don't remember it exactly. Another details that, uh, detail that you said is, you're not a realistic person. Yes. Okay, right? Okay, yes. that's correct. No problem. And you always think about your dreams. Yeah, you said, I always think about my dreams and not, okay, not at the present. <laughs> yes. Not at the present. Yes, that's correct. I mean, the sentence is correct, grammatically correct. Okay. But I'm having a hard time here uh, making the connection between the details and your main sentence. Your main sentence is spiritual person. Yes. Okay. How is spiritual connected to you're not a realistic person and you always think about your dreams and not at the present uh, because i i spend a lot of time thinking about my, uh, the dreams in the future and um uh, my philosophy in life and okay. and i usually don't be at the present i like my 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 thought is always in the future. <laughs> That's what. Okay. So is, is that considered? Uh, okay. You know the meaning of spiritual. Do you have a dictionary with you? I um, no, but <laughs> but, uh, but uh -huh. I think uh, a spiritual person is one who always like thinking about life a lot and like. Not exactly. Not really. <laughs> spiritual. Let me see if it has a meaning like that. But with my orientation with the word spiritual, it's not really about uh, always uh, thinking or being not realistic or something. Yeah. But, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> okay. It's really that... Uh, it's really not appropriate, okay, to say spiritual person, okay. Something spiritual is connected with religion, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it has the meaning, uh, you know, if you are a spiritual person, that means you believe in spirits. Mm -hmm. You believe that when you die, you become something else, okay, like you become an animal, Mm -hmm. Or you become a you become uh, you become a ghost, or you go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you become an animal or a plant. I see. Okay, that is a spiritual belief. Okay, there. So in here, I think you are more of like maybe it could have been better if you said like unrealistic person. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> there. So I'll call myself unrealistic person mm -hmm. because I usually think about my dreams and not at the present. Yeah. Okay. There. So only that. There's a confusion. The details were correct, but 
there's a confusion with your main sentence. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is another word that I'm thinking about, but I couldn't remember. Uh, something like unrealistic. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> uh, I couldn't remember at this moment. Okay. I hope I would rem remember that in the future. Okay. Or later. Uh huh. Let's go to question two. What are your long term goals, uh, long term career goals? So, being become, you said being become interpreter in the future. Being become. I think I meant uh, become, and uh, like I said, being, but I want to fix myself. I want to fix myself, so I, I said become. <laughs> Uh -huh. So in that case, I did not have any clue. Mm -hmm. I did not have any clue that you wanted to check your sentence. Yeah. So give me a clue that you wanted to change the sentence. How would you do that? Um, so, sorry, I think I meant become yeah. an, in print, in prep. an interpreter. Interpreter, yes. Okay, an interpreter. Okay, in the future. Okay. It's interpreter, okay? Yes. Um, did, I, did I pronounce it uh, right uh, in the test? Uh, not, not exactly. <laughs> That's why I remember mm, something is uh, not right here. Okay. So it should be inter. If you are using American, American accent, then you say interpreter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interpreter. Interpreter. Peter. Interpreter. Interpreter. Peter. Uh, can you use, yeah, can you use the soft D sound? Interpreter. Interpreter. Correct. Okay. If you are if you are using standard English, then you can use interpreter. That's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. In the future, I think I have ability. What's that? I have ability. What ability? Of studying Language. languages. Okay. Uh huh. Instead of saying I have ability of studying languages, then you can say I think I have a linguistic ability. Okay. Linguistic ability. Okay. Linguistic, yeah. Ability. I think I have a linguistic ability. Mm -hmm. Although they mean the same, but the construction of linguistic ability will be better. Okay. There. That means you are you are capable of using another form of the word besides the base word. So the base words are language and then ability. Okay. So you change the form of language into another form. So that's a better way of yeah, expressing it. Okay. I think I have, oh, okay. I think become, I think become interpreter is blah, blah, blah. I think become interpreter. What's wrong with that? I think becoming an interpreter. <laughs> yeah, becoming. Mm -hmm. And then an. I yes. think becoming an interpreter will, will be or will be beneficial for me, something like that. Mm -hmm. Useful. For, oh, yeah. Uh, I did not write it down because that's already correct. Okay. There. So besides those mistakes, everything is okay for question two. Mm-hmm. How can children be engaged more in outdoor activities? Okay. Grown-ups need to facilitate. Okay, very good vocabularies here. And then grown-ups need to facilitate them with some facilities. Facilitate facilities. Uh -huh. I couldn't think of another word, maybe infra infrastructures. Okay. Or maybe you want to say need to facilitate uh, Grown-ups need to facilitate their activities, mm -hmm. uh, facilitate 
facilitate their activities because we need an object for facilitate facilitate something okay so facilitate their activities using some tools some tools <laughs> i i did not remember i don't remember i said that ah yeah you said no you said facilities uh-huh okay yeah what other word can we use to mean facilities tools maybe you mean tools or some equipment yeah i mean i mean equipment okay yeah so it's better if you say some equipment or some tools okay mm -hmm. so they should teach them about okay outdoor activities mm -hmm. that's correct uh i did not write much for question three because i think the answer is just fine okay question four do you think shopping and entertainment centers are beneficial for people yeah because uh, I think it's just a wrong pronunciation, okay? I heard it's, it's provide, okay? okay. It should it be- It provides, it provides. 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 Correct, okay. It provides us services, okay? For example, buy a lot of stuff, okay? Just need to go to one place and buy everything you need, very good. Uh, going to uh, consume most much of our time. Okay, anyway, going to a place, what's that? Going to ah. Okay, if you go to another place to buy the things that you need, then it would consume much of your time. Yes. Yeah, I think that's what I understood, okay, that you said. Yeah, that's nice. That's correct. No problem in question four. Okay. Question five. Is it the same for the economy? Uh, they bring profit. Okay, yes, it is the same. You said that. Ah, it is the same, but for people, it brings uh, convenience, right? Services? Yeah. Uh, Services. Yeah, but for the economy, it brings profit. Yeah. Okay, very good. So the good vocabulary here is brings. Okay. What other verb can we use to mean bring profit? Yield. Uh, okay, no. yield. 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 Okay, it will yield profit. It will gain profit. Okay, there. For example, the shopping centers will attract a lot of customers very nice and so if they attract more customers then the government would uh, yeah right the government will receive more taxes okay very well explained how the government will profit on this that's nice and it will help economies more more Achoo. Achoo. oh yeah this is the question it will help economies more active um, what's that <laughs> I I think it's like uh, it will have more activities and uh -huh. oh it <laughs> will give the economy it will give the economy more activity okay so the money can flow yeah that's what I meant but okay uh, I cannot use uh, active here no you can say uh, it will help, but not help. Not help. Uh, if you say it will make, it will make economies more active. That's correct. No. Make it make something adjective. Yeah, but not help something adjective. It should be help something or someone to become something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it will make economies more active. Okay. I think uh, much much as possible. You put I think at the beginning, not at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and only that one. Everything is correct here, except for those that you needed to improve on. Okay, question. Okay. 
Okay. Part two. Interesting activity. Okay, that was during Christmas. Yeah. Uh, pronunciation, could you say about? About. Uh, don't forget your held T sound. Mm -hmm. About. Your, about. Yeah, your held T's were actually okay at the uh, other words with T, okay? They were correct, uh, except this one. Okay. I just suddenly heard, oh, yeah, why? Suddenly changed. Okay. About my Christmas last year. Mm -hmm. We celebrated Christmas together. Okay, with your, uh, with the people in your village. Yes. Okay. And then, very good. You were consistent in using the past verb here. Yeah, I was really waiting for one verb. <laughs> and there, there is one. I found one verb. Okay. okay. So you celebrated Christmas together, and then you cooked some traditional dishes. And then uh, also, you said, we do some alternative dishes. Yeah, when you talk about Western food, uh, you didn't oh. prepare, but you did. Okay, we did some alternative dishes or we made. Okay, okay. we made some alternative dishes, not do. Okay, only that one. <laughs> okay, and then so you how dance. Long, so, how long was my answer? Do you time my answer? Two, tw uh, two minutes, 24. Uh, okay, so here, this is part. Two, so two minutes, 24. Okay. Okay. So your two minutes actually was just, uh, uh, it's at the end. Okay, so 24 is just okay. But actually it's less than two minutes uh, because you keep, you kept on pausing or you made some pauses, lots of pauses in the middle of your other sentences, right? Okay, so maybe it will be just exactly two minutes or less than two minutes, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. We bought presents, that's good. We danced together. Okay. That was amazing. Okay. Because, oh yeah, good vocabulary. Yeah, you were able to, uh, what's that? Chill out. Yeah, and chill out, that's a good vocabulary. And then you were able to put aside, yeah, your worries. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, congratulations. I think your part two is uh, good in this part, okay, this time. Mm -hmm. Let's go to part three. Okay. Do you prefer to do things alone or with others? Do you remember we already did this before? In one yeah. test, we did this uh, question. Just the last time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. My answer was different. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, mm, why am I hearing another thing? Okay. Yeah, but it's okay because this is another test. So your opinion may change, your details may change, but much as possible, if you make a sample answer for different topics, you make one, uh, one opinion. Okay you will try to make one opinion for those topics so that when the question comes, you will not be confused. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. yeah. So why suddenly we're talking about doing things alone or doing things with others? And part three is connected with part two, right? And the topic in part two is activity that you did, okay? <laughs> so doing, Doing an activity is the main topic, okay? So, part three is connected because they want to know if you are doing things with others or you are doing activities alone, okay? So, it's still connected. So, you said here, okay, you want to do both. Mm. So, very good, you were able to explain both sides okay uh but in okay in this case i think it's easy to give details right yeah. yeah you were able to give details to both but in other cases in other questions much as possible if they ask you to 
ask your preference, you choose one. Okay, in other questions. Because when you choose uh, answers like, it depends. Okay, it depends. Or, I think I choose, I prefer uh, both of them. Okay, in these cases, it will be difficult to give details because when you say it depends, that means you need to, you need to explain why, in what cases will you uh, agree with this and in what cases will you disagree. So you will need to explain both sides, which might be difficult in some questions or in some topics. I think in this case, it's okay because just doing things alone or with others. Okay, but what about with other topics? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, practical skill or academic skill. And then if you say, oh, it depends. Oh, it will be difficult. It depends. So when do you use practical skills uh, in certain situation? And when do you use academic skills? Oh, your two minutes will not, uh, will not be enough to explain both of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. There. But anyway, you were able to explain this very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I think we have a lot to discuss in part three, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so we'd better just continue with this uh, on our next lesson. Okay. On. Ooh. On. Thursday. Oh my God. Thursday, right? Yeah, Tuesday. Thursday. Or Tuesday. Tuesday. Ah, yes, Tuesday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see my schedule. Oh, yes, Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we will talk about this one on Tuesday. Okay? Okay. Yes. Yep. So, Tiffany, yes. I will see you on Tuesday and wait. You are about to give me homework? I'm trying to see if there is a question that you really missed. Okay. I think it is, I think the third question I didn't do really well. Character person based on how they work. I assess one's personalities by their, yeah. Your conclusion is I assess one's personalities by their, yeah, work. So there's not much to think about here. I think she's kind and she take caring of others, taking care of others. Yeah, I cannot see something interesting yeah, in your answer here. And you made more mistakes, like take caring. Okay. Do you remember you said take caring? Taking care. <laughs> okay. Taking care. Uh, but uh, at least you were able to use the word industrious. Mm -hmm. Okay, but maybe you can try to change your answer here, if you can. Okay. Question three, make your answer better for question three. Okay. 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 Fix. Question three of test eight. Okay, and review. Ah, this is my note. Mm -hmm. The answers. Okay, four, five, three. Okay, so I'll see you again on Tuesday. And yeah, have a good day tomorrow. I heard it's a holiday tomorrow. I don't know because, <laughs> yes, uh, in our school, there's no holiday. So, okay. uh, that's why uh, That's why I ask for us to study today because tomorrow, actually, I will be absent tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you will study tomorrow. So, I said, oh, I think I have to cancel my classes. So, I know you are free on Sunday. So, I requested for makeup class today instead of tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, so bye-bye. Yeah, and have a good week. Yeah.